All right, you guys, let's do it. We're doing some more top five raids, and this time we're going to hit them where it hurts. We're going right for the money, and we don't care. So you guys, we got a lot of lineup today. Let's go ahead and do an honorable mission for the guys that submitted their entries, but just did not make it to the top five. Now I want to thank everybody for participating in this thing. However, I do receive a lot of submissions and sometimes I can't put them all in. So I try and pick the best ones. But again, thank you guys. If you did submit, just be patient and I'll try and get those posted for you. For everybody else that made it, congratulations. Now again, these are all great raids. However, sometimes I'm just looking for maybe higher, higher loot, better troops, better quality. But you guys, all in all, I would say this is a good submission. Thank you for at least going to the inbox in there and submitting your gameplays to me. Hopefully next time if you get some more money, go ahead and submit it again and I'll post it for you. Alright, coming in at number 5. Who do we got? It's La Shemat Shmay. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry if I'm butchering your name, dude. Uh, but this is going on our top 5 right here. Now, again, my policy is even if the quality is bad, the money is still good. However, with this one, I just couldn't make out how much the guy got. So uh, even though it looks like he may have gotten more, I'm putting him on the fifth position just because I couldn't make out if it was more than 5,000 or not. Now typically when you fight a Town Hall 10, if uh, they're two Town Halls higher than you, then you get a lot of loot. So it looks like this guy may have been lower, maybe a Town Hall 8 or 9. But there was a lot of loot for him and he took advantage of it and uh, actually paid off for him. He didn't get the 3 star, but very close. So a good job, Las Shemay. All right, coming in at number four. It's uh, Logan Swayers. That you know what? I should just stop trying to <laughs> pronounce the names. But you're from Cocaine Cartel. Now don't ask me why, but that sounds like a drug dealer clan. Either that, or you guys are just familiar with raiding money, raiding people for their money. So this looks like uh, an in and out case, an inside job, whatever you call it. But a case closed so everything looks like it was in the pumps this time around he uh, just used nothing but archers and this was definitely gonna be a 50% win but that's okay I think the defender cared more about the town hall than he did his loot so he threw everything out he didn't collect it he said here just have whatever you want just don't take my town hall and so that cost him 400,000 each good job Logan swear all right Coming in at number three, it is Chase Haynes from Decorum. Decorum. So this man starts off with the money already in his sack. He's already looted the place. Now he's just looking to escape. He needs a getaway. And it looks like the king is preventing it. So he wants to uh, take out the king for some reason. This is de that's just like the security guard of the game. And uh, don't ask me why, but... For some reason, he decides to go ahead and waste, <laughs> waste his spells trying to take out the king. That cost you. <laughs> he does not like that king. All right. Well, you did waste a bit of money trying to use those spells on him, but good job. You earned top three. All right. Coming in at number two. Who do we have? It's Big Domer from One Mad Clan. And this looks like an air raid right here. Death from above. He's using dragons. And all the money seems to be right in the middle for him. Now usually I would consider this counterproductive when you have just a full team of dragons. But it looks like he got all the elixir back and then some because this guy had 800,000 elixir. And that's pretty a lot uh, for somebody with gold walls. So he must have been at least another town hall or two lower than him to steal this much money. So it looks like Gandalf was not ready for this one. These dragons passed and Big Domer just came in flying. And so that cost him a three star. He took the loot, took the money, ran with it. Or actually it flew away. And it's a case closed. So good job Big Domer. You earn top two in our countdown. All right, and that leaves us with our number one spot. Coming in at number one, we have Zoro from Wolf Ram Car Bid. <laughs> I was like, I could imagine what that would look like. But you guys, a moment of silence will be given for this number one spot. Go ahead, 
check it out we got another air raid for the money good job All right, you guys, and that's my top five for our top five raid submissions. Good luck. Happy hunting for that gold. Make sure you get it and submit it to me, and I will see you guys next time. Godson out.